So we're at Rosemary and Bob Eckert's house and she's going to tell us all about some of her family pictures and photo albums. So here we go. It's exciting. Okay. Okay. Now we might as well zero in on my mother I'm and I'm going to stay on both at once, yeah. I, I can and see you both sides. Both okay. So you can just point at things so, as we go. This is uh, September 30th, 1930. Pretty nice. At Castle Sacred Heart Church, town of Castle. Oh, very nice. Of course, that was taken at a studio later, right? Yeah, that's at a la studio later. Right, okay. I've seen this one before. Okay, then we want to look at this one. This is uh, when Grandpa married uh, Vicki Robel. Mm -hmm. on, and who's uh, that standing up there behind? Well, this this um, is, let's see, she's a Sikorsky. Josie Sikorsky. That's my dad's sister Hattie's oldest daughter. Okay. And she was kind of a favorite niece. My dad was always concerned about her. And her husband, Joe Adamski. Oh, okay. And so he wanted his, his niece to stand up for the wedding, and then her and her husband. So October 15, 1955. Okay, so... Did you want to know who's on that group picture? Yeah, here? maybe we can look at that, too. Okay, this is Mom, mm, that's your mom Anna, yeah. and this is her sister, Florence. And she was married to Louis... Uh, uh, what's that name? <laughs> All these names are going to go... Uh-oh, uh, not now. Oh, boy. Now, they were already married at this time? They were married, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. And who's the flower girl? Ola then? Nicek. A Nicek? Ola Nicek. Oh. Ola Nicek. Uh, oh, boy, that's a yeah. fun name. <laughs> and my dad thought he was a nice guy. But, you know, later on, I don't know, for some reason, they divorced. They oh. never... They had a son, Louis Jr., a very nice young man. Looked just like his dad when he grew up. Oh, okay. And then this, of course, is the flower girl, and this is Dolores Bergs. She was Dolores Cordes. She was a cousin to them, too. Oh, okay. And um, she only died here a couple of years ago, so she was well old and mm -hmm. uh, a very healthy woman up until she, when she got sick, and then she died shortly after. Okay, so they got so, married in 1930, and then he got remarried in 1955. 1955. Okay. And, of course, our mother died. May 4th or 5th of 1951. Okay, alrighty. Okay, there we have some old pictures that were given to me from uh, my uncle Leo Sigelski's granddaughter. Okay. She had these old pictures and she didn't know who they were or where it was taken. And I said, well, this is at your grandpa's uh, John and Mary Sigelski's house. Because this is at the farmhouse yeah, where I was familiar. born and uh -huh. raised. And um, what we know is, I believe this is Grandma Mary Sigelski. Okay. I think. And then uh, Mike is waving his hat. That's mm. our, my Uncle Mike Sigelski. Sure. Uh -huh. And then Adam's this brother. is Leon Sigelski. That's or Leo. Um, Leo, right? Leo, yeah. Uh -huh. And so that's the brother to my, my dad. Okay. And he lives. He lived kitty corner, across the line fence, to the northwest yeah, Walter of our Se farm. That's Walter Segelski's farm. Walter right? Segelski's farm. Okay. Who, and who? this, I believe, well, and Don't then I these. don't know who those are. Okay. But I'm thinking they could, could be Omillions, maybe, who would be um, uh, if if this is Angeline, if, if this is Leo's wife, Angeline. Okay. This could be some of her relatives mm. that they came along. And then this is, in, I believe, in the apple orchard. Okay, so John's they, not in this picture then, huh? No. Okay. Just no, just I'd that ask. I know of Mike and, and Leo, and I believe this is Leo's wife, and I believe that this is our grandmother, Mary. Okay. And then in the apple orchard, there's shade from the apple trees, I believe. They're standing underneath the trees. That's where mm -hmm. this looks so modeled. Mm -hmm. But I, that's my dad. And then I don't know who the rest are, unless she has them. That's your dad or your grandpa? That's my your dad. dad. That's Adam. That okay. would be Adam. Okay. And I think this is Anna. And then um, what she thought was uh, center, left, Leo, and... Angeline. Angeline. So that would be Leo and Angeline. I, you know, that's what she thinks. Or this is 
Or maybe this it's, is an Leo might be behind there, huh? Yeah. So somewhere. So that that I don't know. Okay. Well, that's very interesting. But those were some old pictures that that um, and her name was um. Oh, don't ask me right now. Well, she probably come along in the story somewhere. <laughs> Okay. Well, then, then this is, we took a trip to Cloquet, Minnesota, where my dad's uh, aunt Josephine moved to way back in the early 1900s. Uh, there were fires up there, and they were rebuilding. Mm. And he was uh, Jankowski, Janikowski. He was, or Jankowski. He was a, a lumberman, or he was a builder, or whatever and they moved up there. Now, this is his son. Oh, okay. Ed Jankowski. And then this is another son. That would be Paul Jankowski. Okay. So these cousins, I don't know if my dad ever knew them. He might have know, seen them when they were kids, but other than that, he never visited with those cousins. When they moved up there, that was pretty much it. Okay. Then this fella here is would have been um, uh, Paul's son. Okay. Looks like the Jim. same guy here, right? Yeah. This is Jim. And that's my uncle John. Yeah. Your your and brother your John. Brother John. Yeah. And notice how these two brothers. Now this one here, the way he stands with his pipe, looks mm -hmm. a lot like what our dad would stand mm -hmm. with his pipe. Yeah, yeah. So cousins, you know, first cousins. Okay. Well, here's more. And then, of course, there's John and Andy was along with us. John and Helen's Andy right there. Yeah, right there, sure. And this is Ed's house, his wife, Jane. And he showed us, he was, uh, he took care of a nursery. He walked the whole northern Minnesota planting trees. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what Ed was doing. He worked in this. Uh, for this uh, nursery and this tree company that planted trees all over. Okay. And this is Richard Michael Joseph Jankowski. Yeah. So that is, I believe, that son. Yeah, looks like it. Jim. Yeah. But no, I don't it know. It says Richard Michael Joseph. M Richard Michael Joseph. So that's a that's a son to, I think, this Paul. Hmm. Age 69, it says. It does, does it say who the, I can't see that far. Can yeah, you? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, but no, I, I wouldn't be able to see anyhow, so. Yeah. Uh, who his folks were. Paul and Violet. Oh, it Jankowski. was Paul. So then, yeah, and this is Paul. Paul. This is Paul here with the pipe. Okay. How about that? Okay. Well then, now we're getting into some cousins. Cousin Eric Teschner, who was oh, yeah. the son of uh, my dad's sister, Joanne. Sigelski Teschner. Mm hmm. Right, and he spent a lot of time. He was in the uh, oh. Korean War. Oh. So that's yeah. a shot of him. And then he loved to come to the farm. Yes, and he used to go to hunting, deer hunting with my dad a lot. Yeah. yeah. This is on the filling farm, barn field by the uh, barn. Oh. At Lawrence's, okay. where Lawrence sure. is. Sure. And then his wedding picture, him and his wife. His wife is doing very well. She's, I communicate with her yet at Christmas. Oh. And um, she does babysitting yet for her grandkids and stuff like that. Oh, there's Norman and Regina's and, wedding picture. Yeah, and I don't have a group picture. At Did they get I married at St. So. Francis? They got married at St. Francis July 10th, 1954. 54, okay. Wow, how about that? Oh, here's a very dim picture on the That's, side. Yeah, and that would be my Uncle Leo and Angeline on their wedding, and I don't know any details on that. Okay. Uh, it, my dad stood up for the wedding. I think this is him. Okay. And then if you can see that at all. Mm -hmm. And then um, when Uncle Leo's daughter, Mary Starzinski, Mary married John Starzinski, um, these are some more pictures that uh, I got from... John, uh, from Leo's granddaughter. And um, so this is her mother, Mary Starzynski. Okay, now who, who's this top picture? And then this is uh, Mary's wedding. So that's oh, John? That when Mary's it says wedding. John and Mary Sigelski Starzynski. Yes. So this is Mary and John Starzynski. Okay. And this is Walter, Mary's brother, Walter Sigelski. Oh, okay. And then... 
uh, let me see. No, oh, boy, I got to get closer to that to see who these are, because I'm thinking Virginia's on here too. Maybe I'll stand over here. You can get closer. Uh, Walter. How come I got John? John and John's brother. Alex. Ladies. Oh. I just still don't know. Uh, the ladies, John's niece. Virginia. This is Mary's sister, Virginia Sigelski. Okay. And then this is uh, Dorothy was Dorothy um, Sikorsky. Sikorsky. Mm -hmm. And so that would be um, my Aunt Hattie's daughter, Dorothy. And then this is Geraldine Sigelski. So that's Walter and Mary's sister, Geraldine. She was the youngest one of that family. Okay. And this is David, and David Erdman, Erdman. John's brother, Alex. Uh, John Starzynski's brother, Alex. Okay. This lady, I don't know who this one is. 1949. Coming up pretty soon, the anniversary. Well, um, let's go back oh, just I'm a second sorry. because this other fella, she wanted to know who this was. She thought she knew. We also, my dad's sister, my dad's twin sister, Eva. Mm -hmm. This is her oldest son, John. Oh. John Zilka. Zilka. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Bobby. Okay. Okay, now, this is Mary Starzynski, again, then when she passed away. And her daughter here is Patty Byrne. So now I got the names. Hey? All right. Patty Byrne. She was the one that inquired about all that. And this is her granddaughter and her son. And then these go to my Aunt Hattie Sikorsky's son, Paul, got married at okay. St. Mary's in Marathon. And Genevieve stood up for the wedding. Oh, that's Genevieve? Yeah, in 1956. So those would be the only people that you would know from that. Okay. September. So I, I put those all in here. And these actually, Helen had gotten pictures from wherever, and she made copies. So, but um, there's Genevieve. And, and then this is my Aunt Hattie. Oh, really? The mother of the groom, Paul Sikorsky. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's a Goldbach. No, what is she? She wasn't Goldbach. She was, uh, <laughs> it's another different name. But these are her parents. I'll think of it maybe sometime. Okay. So these are just things, these are pretty little, but Esther had put this together. Right, and I have a copy of this. And you have all that. Yep, yep. So that goes through everywhere. Mm -hmm. Those are nice. So let me see. Where else have we got? Now we have some oldies. Mm -hmm. That's um, Grandpa John Sigelski with Eric Teschner. Yes. A little boy. And then this is, I'm thinking somewhere in the 20s or 30s. My dad, Adam, his brother, Mike, mm -hmm. Aunt Agnes, and Aunt Joanne. Okay, how is Agnes related? I'm sorry. Those are sisters. That's all sisters. Oh, so this these are brothers? two sisters and two brothers. Okay, right. okay, mm -hmm. so that's Agnes, your aunt. Yeah. Yes, Agnes was the youngest one of that family. Okay. And Joanne was in between. She was the one that was married to Teshner. That's Eric's oh, mother. Oh, that's Eric's mother. mother. Mm -hmm. Okay. In their younger days. And there it says Mike, question mark, and Adam. Yeah, I don't know who this is. Okay. Do you know where that was taken? Well, you know, this one I thought maybe that was at the schoolhouse. I'm wondering if they didn't have some sort of a reunion way back when. Maybe. It does sort of look like schoolhouse it steps. It has like double it doors could, there. Yeah, Elm Grove School. Hmm. That's, you know, right across the road from Uncle Leo's and Walter's farm. Yeah, that's no longer there, though, right? No. No. I think... Well, I don't think there's a shell. I think that was just all oh, taken down. All down. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's neat. And then this is Agnes. When she she moved to uh, Detroit, I always heard her talk about Ypsilanti. 
and so that's a suburb. And uh, here again, uh, Agnes and our, her sister Joanne. Mm. Joanne Teschner. Sure. Then um, this is our my dad, mm -hmm. and then this is a school picture from Elm Grove. Oh yeah. And that would be my dad and his twin sister Eve. Okay, 1912. And there are other people that my dad talked about. There was. Uh, he was the salesman for the Associated Co-op years ago, selling Alice Chalmers tractors. That was Otto, um, Otto Jaeger, and his sister, and then of course Harry Weber, uh, more of the people from the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've seen this picture and of Mike. That one is Mike. And this is Mike at a logging camp. Yeah, and uh, this one right here. How his do you see hands this sort one of right in front here? Yeah. yeah, right here. Yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah. I don't know why that picture seems to be getting darker and darker as yeah, years go by. Yeah, sometimes they do that. Yeah. But those those were two more that I got from Helen. Somehow they came from Helen. Now I think this is at the farmhouse at at Adams Farmhouse. This would be Eddie Zilka. That's a, another brother to, or a son of Eva. Okay. Or Eve or Eva, however I refer to her. Um, Eddie Zilka. He lived, when he got married, he married a woman by the name of Teresa and they moved to Milwaukee. And then this would be when we talked about um, when my dad moved to Pine River and he lived on, what was the name of that road? You know. Tony Highway G there? Yeah. yeah. They call that Creek, something Creek. Oh, I Barnes mean, Creek? I don't know. I, I never heard that. I just heard kind of off, off a G or yeah. something. So, I believe because none of this is familiar, mm -hmm. so this must have been the farm where they were there, and of course Esther or Regina here and Esther, and then your dad Charlie and Lawrence were born there, mm -hmm. and then when they moved back to town of Scott, then Genevieve and John okay. were the next ones. Okay. And then this is um, the yard. I think Esther and Jim are visiting. My dad must have come home from visiting okay, somewhere. Okay, so this is in Pine River? No, this is at, oh, this no, is at this Lawrence's? Is at, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? No, this let me was try the to get old a... buildings. This is taken from the back porch of the house. And we're looking out toward the smokehouse. And see, there's people. There's a clothesline. Mm -hmm. There's people standing around here. Oh. And that's the old chicken coop back there. And we also had pigs on the far west end. And then this is the garage. And okay, Lawrence, the garage is still there, right? No, no Lawrence no. took all these mish, these buildings down and built the big garage oh, that okay. you know of now. Okay. Where we had a party there. We had the fifth, the 1998 reunion yes. and his new garage and shed there. So oh. the chicken coop is gone and the smokehouse is gone. And a little bit here is the woodshed. I think oh. that's what we see a corner of the roof of the woodshed that was right okay, west Okay, so that's of the taken house. off the porch by the side door that would go into the kitchen. Yeah, and yes, and right now, that was before it was a built-in porch, which it is now. Mm -hmm. See, that, that porch was built in uh, August 19, 1960, just before Bob and I got married. That's when Lawrence and John were building. Okay, that's a job. I never saw that before. And then these, these are... Um, when the Cordeses, now that's my mother's family, when they sold the farm, they moved to Wausau first, and they lived somewhere on 6th Street, which was in the vicinity of where the courthouse presently is now. And you'll see a sign, If I don't know if you could make this out, but this was the Alice Chalmers dealer in Wausau on 6th Street. And the people in the picture, this one here is Esther, and Charlie, now these are, yeah, and then uh, cousin Louis Olenichek, Cordes. Mm -hmm. They changed their name to Cordes after the divorce or whatever. So he became a Cordes then. He didn't stay as an Olenichek. And then Regina and then Eric Teschner. So that's who those folks are on that picture. Mm -hmm. uh, this next one, Genevieve, I think, is here. We added Genevieve. 
and yeah. Lawrence. Well, well, we had Lawrence already. No, we didn't. Well, that was, that's we Charlie, added right? Lawrence. I think that's my dad, as I recall. Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing that picture, but that's a nice... You have two so of them. So I think I have them right there. Okay. I'm not sure. And then you got married. Yeah. I remember your re, our, uh, big 50th wedding anniversary. Boy, yeah. you're going to make 75 yet. Yeah. Oh, go back to the motorcycle. Oh. Eric always came up on his motorcycle. Oh, he would and drive this, that all the way up to yeah. Chicago. Now, I think mm -hmm. this is, um, yeah, this is Eric and John. But one time he came, a buddy came along with him. But this is, they're, they're checking something out. Here's John. See his Man. hat? Oh, yeah. He's, there's his feet. He's, they're checking something out. <laughs> but, yeah, he would come all the way from Chicago on his motorcycle. <laughs> and then if, if it rained, he would duck into somebody's barn or something on the <laughs> road. Because, you know, on those highways then, there were farms all and up and down the main highways. Oh, I suppose. You know, like 51 used to be here. Uh -huh. had lots of farms along the highway. You could duck in someplace and stay dry. Amazing. So that's how he would come from Chicago when he was a kid. Okay. Well, this is nice, too. Wow. Okay. okay. Now, who took this picture? I don't know. You don't remember, huh? No. Nope. I'm figuring about 1947. Yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah. I have that one, but that's... I, I often wondered who took it. Maybe Mike took it, huh? And... He well, was, maybe he did. Maybe he was there. Here. He was, you know, he, he lived there. Yeah. So he probably did take it. So I think, um, you know who everybody is? Yeah, yeah, I know everybody yeah, there. okay. Yeah. And then this was later on, uh, Aunt Joanne. You know, she looks so tall, that's because everybody was so short. Mrs. Weber, she was the midwife in the neighborhood that lived up the road. Oh, really? Yeah, so she was short. And my mother there, she's short. And Regina, you can't hardly see her, but she's holding Antone. Oh my. And then Genevieve and me. I Amazing. guess that's it. Yeah. And this one's interesting too. You're taking it in front of the barn. Yeah. On, yeah, on the south end of the barn. Mm -hmm. so this is the west and that's the east. And that was um, John and myself and Anton, little mm -hmm. one. And Regina and Esther. Wow. Very neat. And there you, you have uh, at, uh, Jim, and, Jim and Esther. That was um, June 9th, 1951. Mm -hmm. And that's Jim Amont. This is his brother, Duane. And your dad, Charlie. And this is Jim's sister, Carmi Kleinschmidt. And Regina. Oh, my dad had a lot more hair then. <laughs> <laughs> he had a lot of hair, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay. And this is, they got married in 54. You already saw yeah. that one. Okay. That's neat. And so it was my dad standing up. I mean, he must have been standing up for like best man or something, or what well, do you think it was? Well, let me see. I, I would think he's a, one or the other. He might yeah. be the best man for the bride, you know. Yeah. I don't know. And then Carmi. Or, Yeah. Interesting. Carmi yeah. would have been maybe maybe matron uh -huh. of honor. Okay. Well, now this this is some of Esther's family. Uh, this was from um, Germaine, Esther and Jim Amon's daughter Germaine. She mm -hmm. married Paul Smith. This is Grandma Vicky. Oh yeah, I, that looks good. Our stepmother, sure. and then Jim and Esther. Mm hmm And then this is um, Germaine's sisters. This is Charlene, Teresa, and Suzanne. Great. And there, Bob and I stood up for Anton's wedding. Oh, okay. And that was in the St. Francis Church on the west side. On the west side. Yeah, I remember. I see the low ceiling and all that. I recognize it. That was October 30th, 1965. And it was a hot day. Yeah. For yeah. Bob does look warm. Last day of October. <laughs> oh, and here's... And there's the group picture. I don't... Oh, um, sure enough. Just Anton and um, Beverly, yeah. Beverly, and then this is uh, Mike Rhodes. Is it really? Yeah. I think that's Mike, or was it Patrick? It could have been Patrick, the one who's farming now. Okay. Do you remember the little girl? 
No, she was a relative. Okay. Uh, this was a neighbor, Jimmy Ashbrenner and his wife, Judy, uh, Judy Westfall, her name was. And then these are pretty much um, friends. This is a relative of Beverly, friend of Anton, mm -hmm. me and Bob. And I don't know who this was, if that was a friend or a relative. But this was a friend, and then this was his wife. I don't know if they were married at the time yet. But that could be Pat Rose, Regina's son. Might be Pat or Mike, huh? Yeah. Okay, I know. Here's John in his military uniform. Uh-huh. Now, was that taken just as he was, before he went overseas, probably? I, you know, I don't know when they do that. Whenever they take their formal photographs. I think that's you know, usually they, when they do it, just in case. Just before, huh? Yeah, probably after basic training. and then, Yeah. And then we got Genevieve. Two different and she pictures. didn't graduate, but then when she had a job and everything at 18, she decided to have her portrait done. Oh, she didn't graduate high no, school? No, she, 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 she quit when she was 16. <laughs> my, didn't, my dad didn't give her any problem. <laughs> She wanted to quit. Okay. So, so then they colorized it, huh? Is that how that works? Yeah, she had it colored. Uh-huh. Well, painted, that looks nice. However they do that. However they did but, that back then. Yeah. yeah. But they, uh, yeah, she wanted to get a job and, and... That's neat. Then she had to go to vocational school, I guess, a little bit, too, you know. Oh, she didn't mention that Once when we talked the other day. Once a week or something like that, oh. she had to go. Okay. You know, you could go till you were 16, but then if you got a job, then I think you had to continue on... Uh, until you were 18 with at least one day. It, that's what it seems like, because I know she talked about going to vocational school. Mm, neat. So, then this goes way back again. This is your dad. That's his first bike, the first bike that we ever had on the farm. And oh, then really? This is Anton, so look how little he is here. Yeah. And then, of course, he's growing up, and he's learning how to Right, that's the very same bike. Yeah. And this was a good place to learn. This was going down to the milk house. Alongside oh, sure. the barn, a little bit of a slope, There's so you can get driveway, going there. and yeah, you if you fell, you'd fall into the berm here, you know, oh. so you won't hurt yourself. <laughs> Good it was a lot closer than falling this way. Yeah, you don't want to fall so to the left. Lean that, yeah, way. lean that way. <laughs> Always fall to the right. <laughs> Who's, who is this? And that's, that's Esther. 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 Yeah, she took the bike for a spin too. We all learned how to dr ride a bike then. Okay, and so and then, my dad's holding the gun, and that's yeah, John. he's shooting at something, and John's there. There, oh. you know, we spent a lot of time at the creek. Yes. Either swimming. You. This was a swimming hole on the east side of the creek. Mm -hmm. And if you go around, the creek kind of came from the south, and then it turned, and then it went. Oh, so the farm is up this way? Yeah, the farm oh, is oh, yeah, okay. up this way. And uh, and then the creek turned, and mm -hmm. then it continued on through the pasture. Yes. But um, that was the swimming hole. They had a diving board. Uh, Harry Weber picked a lot of stones, and he had a regular road of stones around on that north side of the creek and then uh, to make the it easy to get in and out east yeah and then he would drive up onto his field from there mm. and <clears throat> of course that was a good place to go down there and then they had a diving board on that east side and mm. I remember it was a fishing kind of there. A big hole right about on that below this edge of the bridge and um, that was a good place for diving oh, neat Okay, yeah, can you see any of this? Okay, that, your dad talked about the sheep, the pet sheep. Oh, yeah. And this is Anton with feeding the bottle to his pet sheep. But uh -huh. then, you know, that sheep got mean, mean after, after a while. while yeah. yeah, your dad talked about mm. that. And, of course, this is Joe Adamski. You know, we talked about him. He stood up for Ma and Vicky's wedding. Mm -hmm. And then his daughters, uh, Helen and Lorraine. So oh, those aren't my cousins, not actually second cousins to you, because their mother was my first cousin. Okay. So, and then this is Anton and a puppy, and him and I sitting on a snowbank with Kitty and some dogs. And then this is Lawrence's car, and um, I was like a senior here, March 60th, 60, and Anton, and then Bill and Jimmy, Bill and Jimmy Wolf, who my dad took and mom took in as foster kids. They were there for through a school year and one summer. Neat. And yeah. then they they had to go. Then in uh, September sixty sixty, they they went to another home somewhere. They were kids from Merrill. Okay. Did you have a lot of foster? 
brothers, well, sisters then, when you were growing no, up? No, those were the only two, and Vicki was the only one that took in those foster kids. Mm. And then she took in a girl later on for a while. Mm. Well, they were still at the farm, because they moved then from the farm in 64. So, okay. And then, of course, this is the Cordeses came to visit, my mother's brothers, my mother Anna's brothers, and uh, this Genevieve, me, and our cousin Lynn, who was the only daughter of our uncle Charlie Cordes, Charlie mm -hmm. and Catherine. And mm -hmm. then um, this is, I think this is me, and then this would be Gen Esther, uh, Regina, and then Catherine, Uncle Charlie's wife, Catherine. Okay, what building is that behind there? Uh, that's that greenery. Remember at my wedding? Already. At my wedding, we had the granary all decorated up, and oh. that's where all the drinks were. Okay. I don't. Do you remember that? I don't remember. I've seen pictures. Cause Steve mm. Steve Rhodes talks about it. Maybe yeah. you don't. When were you born? I was born in '58. Oh yeah, you were only a couple years old then. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve remembers that was his first. Uh, drank too much grape pop. He got sick. <laughs> but he remembered. But this was the granary. Here's. Over here was the garage, the greenery, mm -hmm. and then the machine shed, and okay. then the barn lays off over here. Okay. All righty. So the greenery is off over here. Yes. Okay. Wow. All and right. then, then, what do we got here? I don't remember the occasion, but this is supposed to be me sitting on the Buick. No. You, on the hood of the Buick. What Buick? A, thir a 31 Buick? That was Buick. one of my dad's first cars. That's, I remember that Buick. Wow, look at the big headlights. That's a neat one. Yeah, that was his Buick. And then after that, then he got an ash. And then he had Nashes for quite some time until he went to Plymouth's. <laughs> How about that? And this is all you? And that's my first communion. Wonderful. Now, is that inside St. No, that's at the... No, the that's at the Badger Studio. Oh. And the Badger Studio is not there anymore, no. but it's in the block where Trinity... Lutheran Church is on Main Street, oh. Main and and State. Across from there, the grocery store or whatever that was. On there. the west side yeah. of town. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, that whole north side of that block of Main Street. That's everything is gone. I think maybe there's one building yet on that farthest east corner, mm -hmm. but otherwise those buildings are all gone. And there was a shoe place there. And there was the that, and then what else was there? So Mother's Day, a laundry huh? mat. My goodness. Yeah, we made first communions on lawn, on um, Mother's Day back then. Well, that was pretty common. Mm-hmm. Really. Yep. Wow. Well, you know, but um, yeah. Wow, this is pretty neat. And this is the drip. Well, that's yeah, my certificate. But this is um, the dish that Esther had. Or Genevieve, who's got that dish? We heard you heard all about this dish. I know, I don't you? recall. No, maybe oh. Norma did. Well, I don't know if we talked about it or not, but Genevieve got the history on it. Oh, well, she knows about it. Yeah, so. it was a family heirloom from my mother, and it had like gold plating on the bottom. Oh, my it's goodness, a beautiful dish, and she still has it. Yeah, think. and okay. it's like eight inches across or so, nine inches across and maybe about three inches high hmm. to four, something like that. Well, that's pretty neat. So is that from Europe or anything, or is that, we, we don't you Well, don't it was manufactured here in the States. Okay. Yeah, they found that out. But see, Genevieve, remember, she looked that all up. You know, my mother came has from. the statue of Mary and Jesus that she says was a wedding gift to your mother and Adam. Oh. But she doesn't know from who. I don't know either. Yeah, and there's no way to tell now, I'm sure, but yeah. I thought, you know, that's sort of an interesting thing. I wouldn't have known anything about that. Then, yeah. these these are Genevieve. Genevieve in 52, 1950, who's this? Who, oh, I'm oh sorry. that's me and Anton. Oh, you and Anton, okay. Yeah. And Lawrence. Oh, yes, that looks like Lawrence. You know, we took a lot of pictures by them lilac bushes because they were huge and they were beautiful lilac bushes. Okay. They were between the, the house and the barn. Okay, yeah, great. Okay, wow, look at the steel wheel wagons. Yeah. Seventh and, grade confirmation. Yeah. And she looks a lot like her, her daughter, Penny. Looks just like her, Penny oh. Hollenbach. 
Isn't that nice? When Penny was young, she looked just like Genevieve. When Jen was young. Okay. And, and then these kitties. are a display of kitties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Genevieve is, is in her Holy Cross uniform. Mm -hmm. And uh, me and Anton. That's a cute shot. <laughs> All right. And then these are just all oh, trivial ones. Let's see. Regina sitting in Charlie's car. Oh, that was my dad's car? Yeah. 36 Chevy. Yeah. And this was before flash bulbs, and it was so nice and bright and sunny in the kitchen, and we took a picture of Esther sitting in the window. So that's all you see, mm -hmm. uh, just a person there <laughs> in the window. That one's all fuzzy, oh, but that's, that's a, Esther. Is that the stove behind there, or is that the yeah, kitchen counter? Yeah, that's the stove. That's the stove. Kitchen stove. Okay. And then uh, Genevieve sitting on the railing of the Crick mm -hmm. Bridge, and here's another bridge. Mm hmm. So. Looks wider now than it was. Or oh, then, man, than it, it was, was now. Yeah, <laughs> now everything looks so small, or so narrow, but then everything was wide. Unless open, they rebuilt you know? that bridge, who knows? <laughs> well, they did do something, I guess. Mm. Yeah. And then your, your dad had a 50 Studebaker. Oh my goodness. You remember, oh, you wouldn't remember it, but did you hear of him talking about a Studebaker? Or would that have been John? Because John had a Studebaker. I don't recall anything about a Studebaker. But I remember I, Nash. He but talked I about. think your dad had a Studebaker too. Well, it says so right here. Yeah, well, that's what I wrote because mm. that's what I'm thinking. But then I got to thinking, you know, but this was in the 60s when John had a Studebaker. So that would have been, you mm. know, the late 50s. And Jen wasn't around anymore. This right. is when she was younger. Okay, so now this was taken yeah, to a porch okay, window I'm, or what? It's from the kitchen sink, looking out. Oh. Remember, there's no built-on porch yet. This okay. is all the open. And I'm looking out, or whoever took it is looking out the window. Here's the corner of the garage. That was the old garage you saw from a previous picture. And mm -hmm. that was that greenery shed where we celebrated it for our wedding. Mm -hmm. And then this was the machine shed. And then these are hunters. So... Um, I don't know who that could be. That could be the brothers and about 1955. Never know. You know, I don't know, maybe um, Fritz Wurtz or Charlie's Buddies or somebody. Mm-hmm. Okay. It could be John and Lawrence. Alrighty. And, of course, that top picture is pretty now, this is not the side Dark. porch anyway. This is the front porch, right? That No, that was that back porch. Oh, this is the yeah. same back porch? Mm -hmm. faces the north off the kitchen. It's where you go into oh. the kitchen. Oh, okay. And that's me and Regina. Okay, I guess I'm just not used to seeing it that way. But it looks a lot like the posts and stuff that you would have had off, off the front porch. Though. Yeah, but no, yeah. this is the back porch. Okay. And here's the woodshed back there. Oh, okay. And you know when those pictures were taken... Way back when, that Patty Byrne wanted to know who those folks were, they were lined up along the wall, the outside wall of the house here. That would have been on that west wall of the house was where they were standing. I don't know what picture you're referring that to. That was that one of them first ones oh, where oh. my, oh, my okay. grandma and oh. Uncle Leo and okay. Uncle Mike flag, flagging his hat. Yeah. Okay. And then Genevieve and Charlie. Yes. I've seen that picture before, but I just didn't know where it was. Okay. And then Regina stood up for a wedding. Uh, she just had a regular dress, but she's um, sitting on the lawn. And um, John and Lawrence are are tussling, mm -hmm. and now they're resting. But they like to wrestle. They did a lot of wrestling. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that's Lawrence. I can see that. Yeah. Is that John? And that's John. Okay. Interesting. Jen. And then Janet Waller, that was Genevieve's good buddy, oh, Janet okay. Waller. Lois uh, Caston? Mm-hmm. They were neighbors across the line. Um, we were in 4-H. They were in 4-H with us. If it wasn't for 4-H, I wouldn't have known the people in the neighborhood. Ah, okay. Because I didn't go to school with any of them. Oh. Yeah, that's we right. You went to, to St. Francis. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then this is at the Rotzes. This is Charlie and his Studebaker. <laughs> Doesn't that look like it? Could be. Yeah, it looks like a Studebaker, I <laughs> yeah. guess. And uh, what we can figure is Charlie sitting in the car, and we would have, like, uh, Jack, Joel, Booze, I don't know, and Carol. But that would be your mom, Joyce Rotes' siblings mm -hmm. that are standing around. 
So, okay, and that would have been at the Rotes Farm. Yeah. Norman's Farm. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, that, I don't recognize a single building there, but that's interesting. Yeah, I remembered when that shed was, shed was there, but then, you know, that all got torn down when they tore down the old house and Norman mm -hmm. and Regina built the new one. Right. Okay. Let me see here. So there's a lot of pictures here. Wow, yeah. But these are neighbors. Uh, the Webbers came to visit. Esther talked about this Jim Weber that wanted to marry her. I think it was, yeah. And then his butter buddy, Rafer Duke, I don't know if he was from Texas, but this Jim Weber was from Texas, and this is Bud Weber Jr., Harry Weber Jr., they were the neighbors. Oh, my dad used to say Harry Weber Jr. Yeah, sure. him and Charlie did a lot of fishing together. Then uh, Ralph Dijinsky. Well, that's Ralph Dijinsky. Yep. He's got the aerial of a vehicle, I think, right across his face. That's oh. why it looks so goofy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, of course, then this is your your mom's uh, uh, sister, Jane. Oh, and, and Joan. And Joan's Weeks. Wow. And then, of course, then we have the Dujinskis and the Wisniewskis, who are relatives. And this was Genevieve and Florence Dujinski. Hmm. Okay. And there will be more Dujinskis coming up here. This was uh, Freddie Merkel, a neighbor, um, Genevieve, and then uh, Pauline Vasco at the time. I guess this was taken at a, at the, they went to visit the Sikorskys where my Aunt Hattie lived, and they went to visit Paul Sikorsky, oh. and they went to the cheese, the cheese factory, and she said this was outside the door of the cheese factory. Oh. So they went to visit on a Sunday afternoon. And now this next picture, oh, this oh no, they're not here yet. Um, I think Jan Genevieve's outside the, by the mailbox of where Pauline was living temporarily with her sister Mary oh. and Amon, and that would have been the Amon's dairy in the neighborhood. Okay. So they, they bottled their own milk and they, he had a route to Merrill, took care of. Neat. Uh, but I think that's Jen by their mailbox. Okay. So they took pictures all over the place. They you know. did. Okay. Regina stood up for, now, I mentioned uh, Florence Dijinsky. This is, would be her brother, Buddy, or Andrew, on mm -hmm. his wedding. Andrew mm -hmm. married Lucy. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Leonard, Buddy's brother, stood up. Okay. What was Lucy's maiden name? Uh, I was going to say Swope or something like that, but I don't know if that's right. Okay. Something like there, that. And then church. that's in front of the church, the old church, mm -hmm. you know, the old big brick church. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, his mom and uh, Buddy's mom and dad on there. And then they went up north someplace just to spend some time, and they had a meal mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And then me and Jen in front of that Studebaker. That's a Nash, it says here. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, that's our car. Yeah, that's not the Studebaker. That's a baby blue well, upside-down bathtub. That was baby like blue, always, huh? <laughs> yeah, they referred to them as... Bathtub, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a baby blue. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, at the present time, and I see that the trees have been removed, but this was in front of St. Francis School on 3rd Street it's in Trinity, Merrill. right? Trinity's... No, no. Not, well, St. I mean, it Francis. was St. Francis, but now it's... Oh, Trin now it's um, Our Saviors. Our Saviors, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, Our, our Saviors. saviors. Mm -hmm. uh, John and Helen's... Uh, uh, Mark and Anne were married there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with a curved roof. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that, that was St. Francis that School. That was in front of the school, and there was two great big trees on, on the front in between, you know, the sidewalk into the school went in. And uh, this is in front of that one west tree. And then these are just, I'm sitting on the railing there too. Okay. Just sitting around doing nothing. Oh, geez. So now, um, I talked about Genevieve at the cheese factory. They went to visit at the Sikorsky's, so this is all their cousins. But there's Genevieve. And I'm not sure if that's Norman sitting there. And this is his uh, brother, John Wisniewski. That's John Jr. And Buddy Schweigert, he was another one that was there. Those were neighbors. And then this is D uh, Dorothy Sikorsky. So that's Paul and John and Dorothy. And here's Pauline and Jen and Buddy Schweigert and Charlie. 
and Norman and Ralph. And I don't know who that is. Oh, wow. Here's here Jen and so, but they were just having a good visit. So they didn't do that very often. In yeah. fact, I think that was the only time they ever did that. Mm, okay. So now we're getting into some of the little stuff. This was Esther's Teresa, her firstborn, Esther and Jim's Teresa. She was born in Merrill. Oh, okay. In 1952. She was born in Merrill, and there's the pump. Okay, that's sort of neat. That's out on the farm, right? At yeah. At Lawrence's farm? Yeah. I call it Lawrence's farm. It's not anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Grandpa's farm. That's neat. Okay. And then this is goofing around. Um, this Bill and Jimmy, who were the the foster kids, they had a bicycle. And, of course, John had to try it out for size, which was too small for him. <laughs> um, I'm sitting up in the peak of the, this is the south end of the barn. Must have been I'm, full of I'm hay. way up there. Yep. Otherwise, I would have never mm. been up there. No. And then these go to Grandma Vicky's grandchildren. This one here, that one. And those are her grandchildren. Mm. Um, Robles. Okay. Uh, this is the same picture. This is um, um, Kathy Robel. That would be my stepbrother Ben's daughter. And then this is Jeannie Robel, would be my stepbrother Eddie's daughter. Okay. And then there's more nieces and nephews. Charlene Amond, mm -hmm. Jermaine Amond, Roxanne Sigelski. Oh, Roxanne, it's two <laughs> years old, huh? And Teresa Amond and Roxanne. Oh, yeah, that does look like her now. I've seen her look that way. And Steve Rhodes. And he crawled into the bushel basket. I thought that was pretty cute, so I took his picture. Uh huh. And then here's Steve Rotes and uh, Renee Robel, and and they're playing peekaboo. Now Renee Robel is my stepbrother Eugene's daughter, one of them. Okay. And then so that's Steve, Mike, and Jim Rotes by the lawnmower. I guess. Oh, that up there. Yeah. Yeah, Steve. Mike Steve, and Jim. Mike, and Jim. And then wow. down here is. Renee Robel, Jim and Steve. Jim and Steve. Huh. Well, those are neat. It's all pictures in the yard. And then this is Matt Hollenbeck, so that's Genevieve Sigelski Hollenbeck's oldest. Mm -hmm. And here are the two step. Uh, I'm the two foster boys again, Jim and Bill Wolf. I'm playing the piano back here. I think Lawrence oh. took the picture. Here's the piano. That's mm. a good old piano. Had Anybody else ever play it? or? Oh, yeah. Regina lessons? played it. Genevieve played it. Regina took lessons. Genevieve taught herself, and I taught myself. But mm. no, we did play piano. Yep. Oh, Here's a neat. fox that John got. Bill, oh. uh, one of the wolf boys is holding it. Okay, here's some pictures that Genevieve worked at Jerry's Lunch on Main Street by the depot in Merrill. Oh, yes. I remember hearing And a this. lot of the people from the train would come and quick grab a quick lunch. Down on the bottom is Jerry. And then Genevieve was emulating this Coca-Cola gal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then one of the other girls that w worked for um, uh, Sandy Peterson and her brother, and uh, her boyfriend. Wow. So they were having fun at Jerry's Those were the lunch. days. Yeah. Oh, boy. I think she, by the time she started working there, she was 18 already. Mm. And his, his name, Jerry, was Jerry Rush. Okay. Okay, now we went, we're in, um, making maple syrup in 1958. In the this Corning is in the woods. woods. So not, not behind Lawrence's then. Well, else. see, the, the half of the farm was in Corning and half of the farm is in Scott. Oh. So where Lawrence's house was, just to the south of the farmhouse, uh -huh. farm buildings, that's there's a road that goes east, that's the line. Okay. And so the line went right straight west then. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know if Lawrence's house was in Scott or Corning. I think because he was south of that road, so he would have been in Corning. So the Corning Woods was the south woods, and the Scott Woods was the west. But... Uh, the Northwoods. Northwoods. But Genevieve, or Esther said, the tor a tornado came through and 
split the woods. It, the whole west side of the farm was the woods mm -hmm. on that west side. But they took a lot of trees down. But they, they made some field out of it, but not a whole lot of it. Mm -hmm. But that's what split the woods up. Amazing. So, so uh, one year we would do syrup in the Scott Woods, and one year we would do in the Corning Woods. Okay. Well, I guess it's just let the trees rest. You know. Yeah, thank you. That explains so, a lot. This is your dad. He's pouring sap. Into a barrel, it looks yeah. like. Yeah. And that's John behind him, I'd say. Yeah. Because John's John always got a Anton, cap on. And, and that's Jim yeah. Jim Amon. Jim Amon, right? that's okay. okay. And is that my mother? No, nope, Who, that's me. That? That's you. Yeah, I'm sitting on a rock. I was trying to do something. Are you on the tractor? I'm sitting on the tractor. I didn't do much, just sit around. And I'm holding a bucket. <laughs> Way to go. Mike John I don't want to get into trouble, you know. Oh, this is uh, so, your Uncle Mike? Yeah. John, Rosemary, and Anton. I don't know how much of that is visible. And but pa, oh, your dad's back there? Yeah, he's oh, back yeah, in way there, too. Back way the back, yeah. Wasn't well, so that interesting? The, the shack wasn't closed entirely. It was always... Those, yeah, you got it with uh, that steam Shacks out. always had one yeah. wall gone. Uh-huh. And then, um, well, this is my antiques. Antics. What do you yeah. call it? Yeah. That's antics. Antics, yes. okay. Yeah. I crawled up on the chi on the chicken coop and Barb C Sheldon Carlson and I, we went up there. We were taking pictures in front of the, what do you call those things? <laughs> so ventilators. Who, who, what kind of camera did you have? A brownie camera or something like that? or? Well, we had a little box camera. Yeah, a little box camera. It was camera. like three by four inches, you know. Okay. And who paid for the film and the developing? Well, we would get a little bit of money oh, here yeah? and there. Oh, yeah, okay. I was just yeah. curious. I remember when I was young, my mother wouldn't let me, you know, or tried not to let me take pictures because yeah. then you know, it cost money. Well, to have and you only you only had eight or twelve pictures on a roll. Yeah, That's, it was small. You know, you didn't have much. Mm -hmm. But um, now we talk about the creek. The creek would flood over, mm -hmm. and instead of just a little stream that was in some places maybe only a couple of feet wide, this whole the whole barnyard or farmyard there by the creek would all freeze over. And there mm -hmm. were no brush. There was no brush like there is now. And everything is all grown up. You can't even see a crick. Mm -hmm. But back then, there was no brush because the cows were out there and they kept all that down. Sure, sure. But this whole thing would freeze over. So here I am going north over to the line fence that we had with um, Weber's to the north. Mm -hmm. And um, you could just hop right over the wire here because yeah. this was all ice. Amazing. And then, of course, I had my trapeze in the apple tree, in that winter apple tree, and so that's, I did those oh, things. Fancy. And this is my pretty little kitty. Uh, my dad brought that home. Um, across from the Badger Hotel was a filling station to the south side, and the guy said, hey, look at that, that cat. That cat needs a home. He says it wandered in here, and it was all black and dirty and scroungy, and so my dad brought it home. I gave it a bath and it came out to be a nice white fuzzy cat. <laughs> so I called it Kiki, it was such a pretty kitty. Oh. He'd go to the barn for the night, daytime and then, or no, he was in the house in the daytime, but then at night he'd go to the barn. Okay, here we have an orchard and garden. Yep, now the west of the house was the, the um, this is south of, uh, east of the house, the apple orchard and plum trees. Mm -hmm. And then west of the house was um, the garden. Yes. Your grandma's planting onions. Okay, that's your mother? Yep, Vicky. Oh, that's Vicky. This is Vicky, yep. Okay, I couldn't make it up. And I'm hoeing That's something. you. Oh, okay. Yep. Ah, oh, neat. And then this is at Genevieve's. That's their first apartment that they had. They had an apartment after they got married in 1958. And I went down, I would go down to Appleton and spend a month down there. Uh, June of 56, 57, 58, and 59. And um, this is 58. Okay, ooh, look at all the fashions here, it says. Oh, yes. Okay, that's your uniform then, huh? My uniform. Now, is that at St. Francis or is that at this Holy Cross? This is Holy Cross. Cross. Holy Cross. Mm -hmm. There was no uniform at St. Francis. No. Then. No, okay. And then this is my confirmation, my grade school graduation. Oh. And Genevieve and I, she's holding Steve, I think, Steve Rhodes. And uh, my high school graduation, ah, uh, grade school graduation, grade school. and this is high school graduation at Holy Cross. And I just 
lucked out getting this picture because uh, one of our classmates, she couldn't finish her senior year or she couldn't come back for her senior year. She was from Catawba, northwest of here. Mm -hmm. And uh, she happened to come for the graduation. She snapped the picture and she sent it to me. Oh. Otherwise, that's the only picture I got and then sweet. of high school graduation. Now, you know? where is that happening? In the chapel. In the chapel at called the CC Hall now. Okay, all right. Yeah. The bigger one, yes. Yeah, the big chapel in the right. what's Bell Tower. Yes. And we're coming out. Okay. So we're coming out to the back. Available light. Okay. And then this is one of the girls I went to school with. Now, she's got a black and white uniform because she was contemplating maybe joining the convent. Oh. And so they had a special uniform and special things for oh those girls. Tried to encourage them, didn't they? Yeah. And, well, yeah, they had special things. And they were all resident students, too. They lived there. Oh. Three quarters of the girls lived there. Up oh, on, that many. Um, we talked about that before. Mm -hmm. uh, First floor was offices and classrooms of the original bell tower. Mm -hmm. Then uh, it wasn't called bell tower at that time. It was called the convent. Mm -hmm. And then the second floor was cloister. That's where the nuns lived. The third floor was where the girls all lived. And then the, there was a part of the fourth floor, which was the center part of the building. It is, is the center part of the building. And that was the cafeteria and dining rooms mm. and kitchen and all that. So you had to so get past the nuns to get to the girls. <laughs> yeah, you had to get past second floor to get to the yeah, third floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sure. So. And who's this here? Are oh, that you? Yeah, I'm just sitting oh, there. Oh, on a ladder by an apple tree or something? Yep. That's that winter apple where well, that's the trapeze a, that's is. a bunch of fun stuff there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, TV stars, it says. And here we got John standing in front of the lilac bushes, but this is at the wrong time of the year. There's no mm -hmm. leaves. And then I learned that I could take pictures with my old camera off the television. <laughs> so that's when TV came out in the 50s. Oh. Gail Storm, Patty Page, and Tennessee Ernie Ford. So you got a TV, or was TV already available <laughs> well, somewhere? I mean, Esther and Jim had the first TV. Of course, they were married first, so they ended up having a TV first. Oh. See, And then my dad would go to this Mulva Hill, which is on Grand Avenue on the west side of town, and he would uh, borrow or rent whatever see how it was going to work. Oh. And then, well, yeah, you don't know if you're going to get a signal. Huh? You don't know if you should buy it or not. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we did have a TV. Yeah. Okay. Most of the time we did. Black and white. Mm -hmm. And then these are, now, now this is a lot of my stuff and has got nothing to do with our family. But um, she and Donahue, she became an assembly woman mm -hmm. for the Wisconsin Assembly. Uh, Jane uh, Chevy Pelkey. Um, she is Jane Chevy. She's also a sister to, um, that's Ron, Ron Cornia, uh, Paul, oh. my son-in-law, Paul Cornia. Okay. His brother, Ron, is married to Jane's sister, Nancy. Okay. So that's the Chevy family from okay. Merrill. Uh -huh. They owned the candy company yeah, way back big, when. Yeah, big name. And I think mm -hmm. Vivian said that she worked for the candy company, too, at one time. Oh, okay. You know, my sister-in-law, Vivian. Okay. And then Barb Sheldon Carlson in here. And then, of course, this is the judge's daughter, Sue Schnabel. She was classmates. Okay. And um, her, hus her dad was the judge in Merrill for a long time. And then other girlfriends. Mm, nice. So, and then there's Norman's family. Okay. And um, Steve's daughters. Oh, yes. Stephanie, Andrea, and Ellie. Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah. now I guess we get back into some relatives again. Esther and Jim came to visit, like in 1969, when there's, uh, is that, um, that's Buck. That's the one that, that passed away. Tim. Mm -hmm. Or is that Tim? This is Tim. Maybe there's Jim and Tim, it says. Tim. Okay, that's Tim. Tim is living out in Las Vegas now. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then this is uh, Esther and Jim's Teresa. She was the oldest one that was born in Merrill. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the other ones were all born in Appleton, the rest of the family. And her husband that she married, um, Dave, Dave Coulthurst. Coulthurst. Mm -hmm. And then this is uh, Charlene, I guess, in the background. Mm -hmm. And then Esther's family. Yes. So those are pictures that I accumulated um, of uh, Charlene and her family and 
uh, some of Teresa's family, you know, and I don't know these all these little kids. I don't know them. Mm -hmm. I we never got to. Right, you don't get to know. Get well, to I know, know these much. people. Yeah, there's somebody you know. Yeah. Let's see if you got them right. Looks like you do. Dan, Joanne, yeah, Sid, Doug, and then Roxanne. Sure enough, 1978, huh? And Tom Allery. Yeah, and Tom's there. Mm -hmm. And that's in the house on Scott Street, or Scott Road. Yeah, this out is out by the TV Tower, yeah. where the TV Tower used to be, yeah. Top Boy, of the hill. We came through there the other day, coming back from Merrill. Is that, they changed that house all over. Oh, did they it, change it again recently? Well, I don't know, but it, it looks very different than what it was. Yeah, I, mean, I know the they made some changes. the front door and all that is all different. Yeah, it could be. Oh, yeah, <laughs> looks like we sent you a Merry Christmas card. <laughs> Eric oh, and, and the, yeah, and, you know, I... Um, got my Christmas albums and all the pictures that I get from people I can't save that all everything oh, is neat. saved oh, so amazing. this is at Lawrence and Vivian's and uh, when um, I believe when Carol Ann was born oh no there is a good view of the kitchen yeah well this is with flash cameras now yeah people. oh yeah yeah and there's Vivian and this is Janet mm -hmm. and I think this is my Gary here Okay. And Lawrence and the baby, and then uh, Carol Ann and Joe, and and uh, Lawrence's Joe and mm -hmm. Carol Ann. Mm hmm And then what's down on the bottom? Mary Kay and Mary Paul. Mary Kay and Paul. Added. Sure. Well, that's neat. Oh, you can even see he's got a gun rack here. <laughs> yeah, that's that uh, the laundry room. Uh -huh. You know. Uh huh. Right behind the kitchen there. When my dad added that Added that room. on, yeah. It wasn't there to begin with. And this is uh, some more of Lawrence's family then, too. Uh, mm -hmm. This is Joe, his graduation, and now this is his family. There's Donna, Megan, and Connor. Oh, okay. And this is Lawrence and Vivian with their kids, Carol Ann. Paul. Paul. Uh, Mary. Mary Kay and Joel. Mm -hmm. And then we were invited for dinner. And this oh, is nice. at the farm when they were living at the farm. And then, um, so Vivian's got the table all set pretty. And then um, we went, Karen and I went to visit Carol Ann. And she, uh, that's Tom, not Tom Arnold, what's his name? Yeah, don't ask me names. <laughs> Tom Arnold is the other guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, she had to take a nap. She's got the kitty laying on yeah, top of keep her. Keep her warm. At Johnson Creek is where she lives now. Okay. Okay. Then nice. these are Genevieve again. Now Jerry, they were at a wedding. Somebody took a picture of them dancing. Mm. And then there's Jerry, and then uh, Matt, their their oldest son. Mm-hmm. Jerry and Matt. That picture will live forever, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> we wanted to submit that for the calendar. For the Merrill calendar, historic oh, calendar? That would be good. I think so, too. Genevieve don't want it done, though. <laughs> you, you have to tell her? Well, I said, who would know Jen Hollenbeck? Nobody from Merrill would know who that is. There's yeah, nobody. Might be a few. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, who knows? So, okay. Jen and Jerry came up for, oh, for Joe's wedding when Joe Sigelski got married. Oh, Lawrence's okay. son. Okay, so. that's nice. And then John and Helen are square dancing. This was, um, did I write that down? They're square dancing at the Marathon City Dairy Breakfast. Marathon, City Dairy Marathon Bre County Dairy Breakfast. Yeah, in 1991. I think that's, that it must be at Marathon Park. Neat. Yeah, it sort of looks like it. Yeah. And then, uh, I'm, I think this is at John's house, the, you know, before they remodeled their kitchen when John built the, far the house on the farm. Uh-huh, yes. And it looks like that's into the dining John room, Walter. so this is different. John and then Lawrence and Walter, cousin Walter. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and Helen, this is at Grandma Vicky's house, my dad's house, when they moved to Chippewa Street in Merrill in 1964. Okay. So the year is spring 71, I believe. Uh, Janet's holding my daughter Jenny, Janet, my daughter, uh -huh, yeah. and then Karen and Gary, and then Helen and Heidi. How about that? And then uh, they're having a party at John's. There's Anton, and Lawrence is standing in the doorway. There's Bob, and Vivian is back there, and whoever else is in the front. 
this is, I know it's uh, 71 because Jenny was born in 70 and I've got her in a baby buggy. Okay. And this is the half cut off person is my dad, huh? Looks I like Charles. Know. That could be. Could be. Who knows? Yeah. It's hard to prove it or disprove yeah. it now. Well, then now this is John's family, Andy and Mark. And Mark is a sophomore here. Andy's graduation picture. Mm hmm and Andy's son, Leo. Leo, yeah. Okay, and this was after Adam's funeral, I think. Oh yeah, it even says that. Yeah. And then this is us at the reunion in uh, 84. We had the first Sigelski reunion that Regina and a couple other women got together and had the big reunion planned at St. Francis. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a big success. Yes, it was. And then, oh, I remember this one. That's taken on Chippewa yeah, Street then. That's on Chippewa. You know, I, I paneled those walls. Did you really? Yep. You put up the panel. That was when I was doing all my carpentry work. I was doing <laughs> that at the farmhouse, you know, here. Mm -hmm. And so then uh, I told Mom, well, her the plaster was so poor, and it was chipping and flaking and everything else, and you couldn't paint it decent. And I said, you know, I, I'll put paneling on there for you. And so that's what we did. All right. I paneled her whole, that was her utility. Her entryway there, yeah, yeah, and had the wood stove over here. Yep. Or, you know, heater or whatever. Oh, oh and, and then here we... Uh, Jen Esther, 19, 2015, so that's pretty recent. We're at Menasha. Yeah. And here's my stepmother, Vicki, and this again, uh, that name Zilka comes up. This was John Zilka that lived in Milwaukee with his wife, Grace. Mm -hmm. And, of course, his brother, Eddie, that lives in Milwaukee with his wife, Teresa. And I think they're all gone. I know they're gone. Mm. Um, and then Grandma Vicky with uh, John's son, yeah. John Jr. He printed his picture backwards. See how the numbers are? Oh, wrong? are they? 701. It was 701. Yeah. Oh, that one's backwards. Yeah, they printed that one backwards. Oh, yeah. No big deal. Sure enough. Still works. And then 1998, that yeah, was the reunion. that's one I just made the videos of. Yeah. So you have all of that. Sure. And we took as many of the families as what we could, you know. Our group family, and then uh, Esther's family, Regina's family, Genevieve's, I, well, whoever was there. We sure. could take a family Lots picture. Lots of good pictures. Our family, Bob and our family. Yeah, you can see the porch there. It's added on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we're almost done. Holy cow. Hold on. And then we got more of those Here's same John pictures. John and Kareen. Well, Anton so and John Corinne. was married to Beverly. They Ant divorced. Anton, not John. Anton. Anton was married to Beverly. Yeah, Beverly. And then they were divorced and he hmm. married Kareen. Right. Okay, are those, who are, okay, that's That's Jim. Connie. Oh. Connie, oh, Connie and Steve Brown. Okay, Connie. Is that Steve And Brown? that must, I'm thinking this is, uh. Jim. Oh, maybe. Okay. His son, Jim. Son, Jim. Jim. Yeah, because he's a big guy. Oh. Mike isn't big like that. Mike is skinny. Yeah. And that's Samantha and... Boy. When I can think of the girl's name, I can't think of the boys. Then when I think <laughs> of the boy's name, I can't think of the girls. Sure. But... And then Lawrence's family, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, real great. Then our family. I have no Al's first wife, Lenise, sits here. Oh, sure. She's the mother of the three boys. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she had that awful accident in right. 2000 where she was killed. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, we're going to stop yeah. here for a little bit.